Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. We use a lot of T-posts here on the ranch. Almost everybody has them. We try to do the right thing and we try to protect horses. You know, one of the most debilitating, nastiest, hard to recover injuries for a horse is when they're impaled by a T-post. This is an electric fence. We run three wires. We try to make it, uh, it's all electric, all three wires plus these stays going down. We try to make it as, as, a, as a, an opposing fence as possible, but yet horses crash into things. Mishaps happen. That's why I like to promote what are called T-post caps. We're gonna zoom in here. This particular T-post cap is shaped like the T-post in the shape of a T. It's just plastic or rubber, and it just slides right on. They do make another T-post cap that's made by the manufacturers that make electric fence insulators. They're yellow and they look like a mushroom top. Those work well too. Sometimes the wind knocks them off. Sometimes horses play with them. But this is a safety issue, ladies and gentlemen. What's safe for your horse? These usually come 15 to 25 a bag for like 10 or 12 dollars. That's not too bad. Because look here, the same fence, same post, but look how imposing this is. This is actually sharp. It's actually a dented a little bit from being slammed into the ground with a T-post driver. It's actually just a little bit sharp. So a horse could actually rub this and actually cut themselves. Or you've got the per perfect recipe for impalement. Or you can have this over here where this T-post has a cap on it and there's nothing sharp about it. You would think that something this simple wouldn't make that big of a difference as far as impaling a horse in the chest or the stomach or the side. I'm here to tell you folks, they do. They make a big difference. You know, it's these little things that help you with your horse. These, the insulators, oh, oh, ah, I hate electric fence. Probably should do another one, but we don't edit anything. I can't believe I got zapped by my own fence. You know, there's always something to learn on the ranch. Oh my gosh, this has been another stall13.com video. At least you know the fence is hot. Take care of yourself and your horses. <laughs>